Hello, guys. The question for today is that quadrilateral security dialogue is transforming itself into a trade block from a military alliance in present times. Discuss. Now, before discussing this, we'll discuss about quad quadrilateral security dialogue. So we'll go through every point related to every main import uh, important impacts. Uh, we can say fact information related to quad. So quad stands for quadrilateral security dialogue. Quadrilateral security dialogue, and this is an informal strategic forum with the primary objective of working for a free, open prosperous and inclusive Indo-Pacific region. So this quad group, group is targeting which region? Indo-Pacific. And main objective is, or primary objective is of working for a free, open, prosperous, inclusive Indo-Pacific region. So from this line itself, it is very clear that the main objective of this group indirectly we can say is to um, means balance or you can say address the uh, growing hegemony of China over the Indo-Pacific region. Now the Quad countries includes four nations, USA, India, Australia and Japan. USA, India, Australia and Japan. The forum traced its genesis to 2004 when these four countries came together to coordinate relief of reason in the aftermath of the tsunami. Tsunami relief operation country log a process to start Then in 2007 the group again meet on the Association of Southeast Asian Nations sidelines. Japanese Prime Minister Shinjo Abe was the first to pitch the idea for the formation of Quad in 2007. So the whole credit goes to Japanese Prime Minister Shinjo Abe. Shinjo Abe, who actually first pitched the idea for the formation of Quad. So the timeline to be important. They first met after the tsunami for the relief operation. And 2007, when the South Asia Association of Southeast Asian Nation meets going on, then Japanese Prime Minister Shinjo Abe pitched this idea. Now look at this diagram. We all know it would be better to draw a diagram. This is our India, then Japan. And this is the country, China. We all know that why this China is infamous for. Then this is USA. And this is Australia. So quadrilateral group means quad, Saricon, where four entities are related here, four countries are related, India to Japan, Japan to USA, US to Australia, Australia to India. So this is a quadrilateral group. We can draw this very quickly. Then Let's again see, we we'll go through the timeline. The 2004 origins can be traced to the evolution of exercise Malabar and the 2004 tsunami when India conducted relief and rescue operations for itself. And these neighboring countries was later joined by the US, Japan, and Australia. Then 2007, they meet for the first time in 2007 on the sidelines of Association of South Asian Nations. Association of South Asian Nations, that is ASEAN. And there, Japanese Prime Minister Shinjo Abe was the first to pitch the idea for the formation of Quad. Then, 2008, Australia withdrew from the forum due to the political pressure from the Chinese government and in the wake of the glowing conflict between US and China in the ACPR 
Pacific region and the early iteration of the quas large quad largely based around maritime security and eventually dissipated so in 2000 uh, although 2007 they talked about this in 2008 what happened Australia withdraw from this forum why because of the political pressure from the Chinese government and also in a growing conflict why we call in a means growing conflict us and china over the region asia pacific so australia would do then in 2010 enhanced military cooperation between us and australia again resume and leading to australia's comeback to the quad naval exercises so 2008 although australia would draw from would drew from it because of the chinese political pressure then 2010 it again came back because of the enhanced military cooperation of it with US. Then 2012, Japanese Prime Minister emphasized the ideas of Asia's democratic security diamond comprising US, Japan, India, Australia. Asia's democratic security diamond. See the term, democratic security diamond comprising this count four countries us japan and uh, india china uh sorry australia why should uh, china will come because whenever you know we, us is there then obviously uh china will take it in that way uh, kind of enemies approach so it is, uh, the term democratic security diamond correctly justifies this uh, with due respect to this quad and then 2017 faced again with the rising trees of China, the four countries revived the quad, broadening its objective, creating a mechanism that aimed to slowly establish a rules-based international. So, so we can now answer the question, what is quad? So it is the grouping of four democracies. It's Harikone democratic countries, right? The four democracies, democracies, India, Australia, US, and Japan. Then all four nations find a common ground of being democratic nations and support the common interests of unhindered maritime trade and security. Security is there because China's hegemony on that uh, in that particular region is growing. See, we all know about his uh, its actions, recent actions or activities on South China Sea. ONGC. Bidesh Nigam Limited also suffered an example. So they now ensuring some kind of what um, security over the region. And for this, they thought that this squad will be a good platform. It aims to support, ensure and support a free, open and prosperous Indo-Pacific region. And this line, we should not forget when lighting this answer on quad that the aim is to support a free, open, and prosperous, free, open, and prosperous Indo-Pacific region. And the idea, of course, was first mooted by or pitched by Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. And when? In 2007. Now, this idea could not move ahead with Australia's pulling out of it. We have seen that in the timeline, 2008, Australia put pulling out because of Chinese government's political pressure. However, what happened? Again, 2017, we have seen that this India, Australia, US, Japan came together and this quadrilateral, quadrilateral coalition formed. Now, what are the opportunities? Question always comes that what it will do for India? What will be the opportunities for India, right? So, what are the opportunities for India under this quad arrangement? Main thing is the countering of China. The maritime space is a lot more important to China than engaging in opportunities land grab attempts in China, Himalayas. China bohut buddhiman country hoy. They know how to deal with the means enemies, and although we are, we should not think ourselves enemies, but they know how to counter the different countries. So they don't. They will uh, uh, aspire for more, and they know that their aspiration will lie in that oceanic areas than those 
land grabbing attempts on in the Himalayas. So you a huge chunk of Chinese stretch happens via the Indian Oceanic routes that pass through the maritime chalk points. China famous for its stretch, no? Yeah, um, everywhere you will see that China is a top number one, number one like that because they uh the current days they are because of their economic changes. The trading is happening like anything. Even we criticize India, uh, we Indian criticize China, but the China's items are more in the Indian market. So a huge chunk of Chinese trade happens via the Indian Oceanic Road that pass through the maritime chalk points. And in the event of any Chinese aggression on borders, India, by cooperating with the Quad countries can potentially disrupt the Chinese trade, and that is the concern of China, right? And that is the benefit of Quad for us. So, in if, if any type of Chinese aggression happens, that says the suppose again they attack or say again uh, they arise uh, raise some issues like Galwan Valley on in and they if they target Arunachal Pradesh borders, then we can counter it with the help of our that means quad countries where in this particular ocean region now hence unlike in the continental sphere where india seems facing a not greater like situations due to china pakistan collusion the maritime sphere is wide open to india to undertake the coalition building and rule setting and other forms of strategic exploration. Then next, the first we have seen the main important uh, means opportunity as the countering China. Second is the emerging as a net security provider. Now there is a growing great power interest in the maritime sphere, especially with the arrival, arrival of the concept of Indo-Pacific. See the terms. There is a great, growing great power interest in the maritime sphere, especially with the arrival of the concept of Indo Pacific. For instance, many European countries have recently released their Indo Pacific strategies. From there, we can guess, we can find out that how this interest is growing over the maritime sphere, specifically Indo Pacific regions. There's more to explore. There is a lot to explore from this region. Now, with India located right at the center of the Indo-Pacific geopolitical imagination, can realize the vision of a broader Asia that can extend its influence away from the geographical boundaries. Right. So, uh, it is our kind of uh, what we can say benefit to be utilized that we have a very long coastal border right very long coast and thereby we have a less economic zones exclusive economy zone so we actually have a great common over the indian ocean so that's why the vision of a broad broader asia that can extend it in its influence away from the geographical boundaries. Moreover, India can build around collective action in humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, monitoring, shipping for search and rescue, and <coughs> sorry, anti-piracy operations, infrastructure assistance to climatically vulnerable states, connectivity initiatives, and similar activities. One more thing is that for collective action in humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, monitoring, shipping for search and rescue, or anti piracy operation, infrastructure assistance to climate, climatically vulnerable states, connectivity initiatives, and similar activities, this particular what can be used as the provider of the same. Furthermore, India with Quad countries can check the imperialist policies of China in Indian Ocean region and ensure security and growth for all in the region. In uh, this is again a very means uh, significant reason that with Quad countries, India can check the imperialist 
policies of China. Imperialist policies of China means he grabsing. He tries to grab everything uh, nearby, right? So China is the kabza kori bolle saaya sa. Tai nine days line hoy golbaz. So bilak policy ye ne kaise kind of imperialist policy. So with the Quad countries, we can check that imperialist uh, imperialist policies of it China over this Indian rich Ocean regions, and we can ensure security and growth for all in the region. Now, if these opportunities are there, shortly rising opportunities, countering China, then emerging as a net security provider, then always there will be some issues. Now, what are the issues related to Quad? Undefined vision, as although there is a potential for cooperation, but what remains a mechanism without a defined strategic mission. Defined strategic mission. Mane enukata mission. Enukata mission that halkoi define kori to anazami kurim ki exactly. It is written that yes, we uh, work about for open and free Indo Pacific region and the uh, trade of her it and the security of her it but there should be a defined strategic mission and that is lacking in this quad so that's why we are calling it as an undefined vision although there is a potential for cooperation the quad remains a mechanism without a defined strategic mission then maritime dominated the entire focus on the indo specific makes the quad a maritime rather than a land-based grouping, raising questions whether the cooperation extends to the Asia, Pacific, and Eurasian regions. So it is maritime dominated. So it is a maritime rather than a land-based grouping. So um, there are kind of questions that these cooperations will extend to the Asia, Pacific, and Eurasian regions or not. Then India's aversion of alliance system. The fact that India is the only member that is averse to a TT alliance system that slowed down the progress of building a stronger quadrilateral engagement. So India is the only member averse to a TT alliance system. We, we believe of uh, means non alliancement system we all know the, the our policy was always name so india is kind of averse to a treaty alliance system and because it is the only member of these four countries so it has slowed down the progress of building a stronger quadrilateral engagement so these are the issues then challenges little bit a different term challenges means what problem it is facing similarly issues are also their issues means problems but let's again um, consider these issues consider these challenges in a different way so lacks definite uh, definitive structure <clears throat> so quad despite its lofty ambition is not structured like a typical multilateral organization and lacks a secretariat and or any permanent decision making body so what it is what is lacking a kind of secretariat secretariat yet to die no but no permanent decision making now so it lacks a secretariat and any permanent decision making body instead of creating policy along the lines of European nation or United Nation, the Quad has focused on expanding existing agreements between the member countries and highlighting their shared values. So, at the independent policy create Quad ko iki kori se, agor zikini agreement as a hekini ke extend kori se, expand kori se. Then, additionally, unlike NATO, Quad does not include provisions for collective defense, instead choosing to conduct joint military exercises as a show of unity and diplomatic cohesion. So this is, if you closely analyze this thing, then you'll find the uh, means kind of uh, lagging behind, uh, lagging behind of this squad than NATO. NATO has a definite defense structure, right? It is not depending on one particular country because overall all are contributing towards a defense force also. But does it happen to Nakwat? No. 
here uh, we are believing a joint military exercise but at that time at suppose one mm, time if two countries are very aggressive towards each other because of some issues some problems then that type of military exercise whether it is possible or not is a question so it only choosing a joint military exercise and that will be possible only through Indian diplomatic cohesion but there is a lagging behind because we have to have as a quad, quad we have to have a definite military power or definite military uh, structure like NATO then only can stand as a strong entity then difficulty in addressing China's concern. China has a strong economic ties with the Quad members, especially Australia, which can be used to coerce and influence countries in its favor. This can turn out to be problematic for India. See, time to time, China, China, ki koi thake. Australia, dhom ki di thake, boli ko pari, right? Uh, that time uh, in 2008, you have seen it. it imparted some political pressure on China, Australia. Again, it's uh, after a few years back, uh, what happened that China threatened Australia directly that if you do some type of actions against its uh, interest, then what would happen? It will uh, stop sending its students to Australia because Australia is, a educa is a, an educational hub. Many students from India and China goes to study there and thereby Australia is earning a very good economic opportunities from this educational from its educational institution but if one country stops sending its uh, students to the then what happened there will be direct loss so this because of this economic ties sometimes it so it, it may coerce or influence the countries in the favor and that is a problem. Then imbalanced cooperation. The present four members of the quarter do not have the same level of financial resources, strategic awareness, military capabilities in India and Ocean. Hence, conversions on a lot of issues are missing, which might create an imbalance in the future. Then lack of coherent actions. USA administration withdrawal from Afghanistan may spawn the rise of terror network in the tribal nation and may undercut the Quad joint commitment to combating terrors besides raising questions about uh, America's willingness to recommit resources to the grim tax of dismantling the terror at networks. So this is what happened that USA withdrawal from the Afghanistan. Then in this particular country, the terror network may grow and it grow to a level that again quite joint commitment to combat the terrors beside uh, raise questions about America's willingness that whether it will uh, uh, means give the same interest of combating any kind of terror happening on the Quad region or not. So lacks of coherent action is again a concern. Now what will be the way forward? Way forward will be like what nations need to better explain the Indo-Pacific vision in an overarching framework. When a definite structure it has it need to explain it better that Indo-Pacific vision an overarching framework with the objective of advancing everyone's economic and security interest. Then India has many other partners in the Indo-Pacific. So India should pitch for countries like Indonesia, Singapore to be invited to join in the future. So India should pitch other countries of uh, Indo-Pacific like Indonesia, Singapore to join Quad in the near future. Then India should develop a comprehensive vision on the Indo-Pacific that would ideate uh, the current and future maritime challenges and consolidate its military and non-military tools, engage its strategic partners. So, key way forward we have seen. First, Quad nations need to better explain the Indo-Pacific vision in an overarching framework with the objective of advancing everyone's economic and security interests. Second, India should pitch other countries like Indonesia, Singapore, of Indo-Pacific region to 
join Quad in the future, then India again should develop a comprehensive vision of the Indo-Pacific, which is ideate on the current and future maritime challenges and consolidate its military and non-military tools and engage its strategic partners. So India yet agbha global agibo. India nijo can because this region is the main concern of India. This is the region where India can show the leadership. So India should take India should itself forward to take some action that will attract the other strategic partners, like in the case of military improvement and non-military tools also. So that they mean that India's comprehensive vision towards Indo-Pacific will uh, actually engage its strategic partner to get tied with this squad. So these are the way forwards. Now the question that came in UPSC 2020 is that quadrilateral security dialogue Quadrilateral security dialogue quad is transforming itself into a trade block from a military alliance in present times. Discuss. Mane, military alliance or go it hoi ye at a trade block of he pori not hoi sege. Can I go it? Present time of mana he to trade block of he go sege. So discuss. So we can discuss like this. Quadrilateral security dialogue is the informal strategic. See, the term we have used, informal. We have not used the term formal, right? Is the informal strategic dialogue between India, US, Japan, and Australia with a shared objective to ensure and support a free, open, prosperous Indo-Pacific region. And this idea was mooted by Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe in 2007. Now, why this transformation is happening, we have to focus on. Now, Messi great potential among the quad nations the poor countries with over 1.8 billion people represent a quarter of the world's population it's almost one fourth of what the world's population and over 30 billion dollar in combined gdp so trade between the poor countries exceeds 440 billion dollar in 2018 with nearly 6 trillion trade with the rest of the world so this trading this trading the, from the number itself it is clearly visible that massive trade potential among the quad nations 30 trillion in combined gdp right they, they are for means contributing to the combined gdp and world's populations one by quarter of the world's total world population and this among them the uh, trade happened in four forty billion dollar, and nearly six trillion with the rest of the world. So this is a ma massive trade potential among the quad nations. Then USS Blue Dot Network Initiative, Blue Dot Dot Network Initiative means BDN Initiative. USA has asked India to participate in the Blue Dot Network, an initiative under the quadrilateral mechanism that seeks to build and finance quality peace infrastructure project. So blue dot network means to build and finance quality infrastructure project aim to ensure the countries the world around the world have access to private sector led sustainable trustworthy options for high quality infrastructure development. Then engagement in critical areas like challenges emanating from COVID-19 highlighted the need of improving resilience of supply chains and self-sufficiency also. Then vaccine initiative under this a billion vaccines by the end of 2022 made in India with US technology, Japanese funding and Australian distribution networks to reach as many Indo-Pacific countries possible. So vaccine initiative for Zoriote, billion vaccine by the end of 2022. He could say India US technology level bonus, Japanese opera funding loy say Australia distribution network this Jate Gute Indo Pacific country by the so it was a threat activity, right? In the recent Quad summit, it was decided to set up joint working groups to cooperate on critical technology as well as climate change. Then Japan proposed a supply chain resilience initiative. Supply chain resilience as uh, initiative comprising 
India, Japan, and Australia that has the potential to develop an alternative thread block, a quad and a quad plus thread block. If the quad wants to be successful as a military alliance, it must be a strong economic alliance also because military alliance, we need defense, high defense system. And for high defense system, what do we need? We need a good or strong economic conditions. So if strong economic alliance is there, then we can expect a good military alliance. This is what India and the other quad countries, including US, should aim for. Further, Quad nations need to better explain the Indo-Pacific vision is an overarching framework that is being discussed in a transparent manner, that is discussed but in a transparent manner with the objective of advancing everyone's economy and security interests. The Quad, on the other hand, is a plurilateral mechanism between the countries that share interests on specific matters. So in this way, we have seen that what happened that it is transforming into a trad block. First, we have seen that massive threat potential because they are sharing one by quarter of the world's population of over 30 trillion in combined GDP. Among themselves, uh, exceeded 440 billion dollar and contributing 6 trillion to the world in the 2018 example. Then US's blue dot, blue dot network to build and finance quality infrastructure project. Then engagement in critical areas like vaccine initiative by a billion vaccine by the end of 2022 india is uh means making it with the help of us technology and japanese funding and australia keeping its distribution network to reach as many as indo pacific countries to provide this vaccine right then japan's supply chain resilience initiative comprising of japan india and australia in a quad plus trade block so it is a kind of trade block that is being more visible than a military alliance so we have to focus, but this is good because if economic alliance will be more, then we can have a good funding and with that we can have a better military alliance. So Quadar Homokot Gutekini Hugel, Quadar Biko Ami Gutekini Pohilu, Artar related a question to Koraul. With this, I hope that questions, any question related to Quad can we can answer now. So that's it. Thank you. Bye bye.